everyone, and welcome to another episode of Monkey Run Reviews. Today, we have the Yeesight 20 inch, 25 watt, 108 RGB LED light bar. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside the box. So as soon as I open it up, I can see that there is some stands here. And then we have the light bar itself. You can pull this out and you can see the 108 LEDs right on in there. On the back, you have DMX in and DMX out. You have your menu up, down, and enter, uh, along with the panel here that's gonna show you what settings you have and what DMX channel you're using. And then there's a microphone right here as well. Uh, the microphone tells me this probably will do sound activation if you want it to. Uh, these knobs here on the side, you should just be able to unscrew these like that a little washer as well and that's where the stand will attach to so if we just put this right in here like so and then that there we will be able to put that right back on and now there's a stand on that side we'll do the same thing to this side that right on back on there screw that on and there we go now we got some feet on this light so we can angle this here any way we want to so there's up there's out and it's just a tightening of these two screws uh, in the bag there's also the instruction manual now this light can do two different kinds of DMX. It does an eight channel and a 12 channel. So you'll probably want to hold on to this manual and take a look at it to see what each setting does since there are multiple modes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plug this into a DMX board and we're going to go through each channel like we always do and see how it all works. So I already have the board right here. I have the Chevet Obey 40 that I always use. We're going to Plug this into the back of the light. Like so. And then we're gonna plug the power of the light in as well. And then we can get going on this. So plug this into the power. And there we go. And it's up and running. So in the instruction manual, we are going to go into DMX mode. So in the channel one through eight mode, it does a, a red, a green, a blue, and then it does your strobing, your color flow, your water effects, your background color effect, and then a automatic selection. Uh, on the 12 channel mode, you have your red, green, and blue brightness. Then you have the segment two, red, green, and blue brightness. Oh, okay. So in eight channel, this works as one light. And then in 12 channel, you have three different segments where you can control the lights separately. So you can actually have something happen here, something happen here, something happen here all at different times. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, start this off. So I'm gonna come on the back and I'm going into the menu and I'm gonna set it to DMX one enter so we are now DMX channel one now we are in eight channel mode the one thing I forgot to mention is on the back you can go through until it says CH and there will be uh, CH8 and CH12 so I'm on CH8 right now and I'm gonna hit up and enter and now we're in 12 channel mode and then if I come back down here again and I hit up again it goes back to eight channel mode so we'll just do this in eight channel mode just being aware that eight and twelve the only difference is is your separation in here so Channel one is going to be the red brightness. So there's red up and down. Two will be your green brightness. And then three will be your blue brightness. So you can actually bring up any color selection you want here by just mixing in these three colors. And it adjusts right in there like any DMX controlled RGB light would. Uh, channel four is the actual strobing. So bringing it up does nothing unless I have a color. So let's bring up the red. So channel four at zero is no strobe. One to 223 is automatic, going from slow to fast. 
And then going past 224 up to 255 is all voice activated strobe. So right now my voice is controlling the strobe. All right, so we'll pull the strobe back down. Channel five, zero through six, it says channels one through four is valid, which is your colors. Seven through 11 is the color flow effect selection. So we'll bring this up here and you can see what it's doing here for the color flow. And then if we bring it up even farther, it'll start going into color jump moving effect selection after you hit 112. And now let's try out six. So right now we're at 41, so it's moving colors around. So it looks like this is, you gotta bring five all the way up and then that activates your six. And then if I take this even up higher here, so there's different settings that you can have pre-programmed in here as you're seeing the moving happening. So let's bring six down. Let's bring five down again. Does seven do anything without five? No, it looks like seven also uses five. So let's bring five all the way back up. And we bring up seven to 24-ish. Um, and there you go. And it's doing something. And then there's another channel a little farther up. So it looks like that six and seven uses channel five when it's all the way up in the color jump moving effect selection mode. All right, so let's bring seven down. And then eight says automatic selection of running water speed from slow to fast. You gotta go back into your color flow uh, selection here. So let's bring it to an area where it's moving. And then now if I bring up eight, it's gonna start moving those around, as you can now see. If I bring all the way up, it's now voice controlled. Voice voice. So you can actually have sound activation turning on and off through the DMX board here. So let's go ahead and bring all these down again. I'm going to quickly change this over to 12 channel mode. So now we're in 12 channel mode. So channel one should be your red for just the one section. And now four is the red here and then seven here. And then this one here will be 10. So I've got to change my, uh, page and then this should be 10. So this is actually four different segments. I know I said three earlier, but it's four separate segments that you can control. So there you go. That's the fourth segment here that I can do. Go back to page one on here. I can turn this one off, change colors over here if I want. So it gives you full control. So that's the difference between the eight channel and the 12 channel. So once again, this has been Monkey Around Reviews with the Yeesight 20 inch, 25 watt, 108 RGB LED light bar. If you've used one of these light bars in the past, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe. Hmm?